Hi, I'm Katie Couric. Welcome to Eye to Eye. A comprehensive new report by the American Institute for Cancer Research cites obesity as a major cancer risk. CBS News spoke to one of the authors of the report about what he says is a clear link between weight and the potentially deadly disease. You know as well as I do that people in America are scared of cancer. They're more scared of cancer than anything else. And they think that it's an act of God. That just comes out of the blue and you can't do anything about it. That's wrong. For the first time, we're producing the science and the medical understanding to back a simple message. You can start doing something about it now. And if you start now, you're beginning to improve your risks. And the longer you do it, the better. And you can start whether you're 30, 40, 50, or even 60. We've been really quite astonished at the way in which when we put this report together, sifting through those 7,000 different studies and put it together in a very tight, organized way, the body fatness business is quite astonishing. And it's so coherent, so consistent, you, we cannot get away from it. And it's not that you have to be enormously obese and fat before you run into risk. It looks as though it's a smooth, even increase in, in risk from uh, we, well within the normal range. And that's why we're saying that ideally we should be lean and not just simply take this broad normal range as fine. This has involved over 200 scientists. It's been done in the most savage, critical, conservative way possible. Therefore, you have to believe this report uh, as not going to change in the next few months. This is the report that's come after 10 years of work. I believe that this report is only going to be modified in minor detail uh, within the next 10 years. Therefore, it's time that not only does, do individuals take this on board, but I think governments are going to have to think about it. People who organize school meals, um, business leaders who are worried about the health costs of their insurance policies the cost for car makers and so on in the United States. The cancer story, it's one of the biggest burdens on society. And that's why we have to take these recommendations seriously. Well, the analyses suggest that um, it's not yet in the same league as smoking. I mean, smoking, we know, is a killer. One in two people who smoke will die prematurely of smoking. Of course, that's heart disease as well as cancer. We can't say that in terms of obesity. We know that it shortens your life. And one of the big issues is what you get. And people actually have heart attacks when they get too fat. They have a far bigger risk of diabetes. But what's now becoming clear here is they also have a very substantial increased risk uh, uh, if they're fat. So we are now amplifying the importance of obesity. Because if you look at the America, and the way in which it's getting fatter every single year. We can predict on the basis of people also getting older that you're going to see a massive increase in the demand for treating cancer. And why shouldn't we start at the other end and say, let's try and prevent it for a change?